Hey babes, so it is 8.24 in the morning on this beautiful Monday, and I am going to give you three more riddles, plus tell you the, the answer for yesterday. You guys did so well, I have to give you more than one. Um, so here we go, this is dinner time. A woman shoots her husband, then holds him underwater for five minutes. A little while later, they both go out and enjoy a wonderful dinner together. How can this be? One more time. A woman shoots her husband, then holds him underwater for five minutes. A little while later, they both go out and enjoy a wonderful dinner together. How can this be? Okay, that's number one. Here's number two. Cassette tape. A man was found dead with a cassette recorder in one hand and a gun in the other. When the police came in, they immediately pressed the play button on the cassette. He said, I have nothing else to live for. I can't go on. And the sound of a gunshot, bang. <laughs> After listening to the cassette tape, the police knew this was not a suicide, but a homicide. How did they know? One more time. A man was found dead with a cassette tape, uh, with a cassette recorder in one hand and a gun in the other hand. Okay. When the police came, they immediately pressed the play button on the cassette. He said, I have nothing else to live for. I can't go on. Then the sound of a gunshot. Bang. <laughs> After listening to the cassette tape, the police knew this was not a suicide but a homicide. How did they know? Okay, and number three. All right. A dead body is found at the bottom of a multi-story building. Seeing the position of the body, it is evident that the person jumped off from one of the floors for attempting suicide. A homicide detective is called to look after the case, he goes to the first floor and walks into the room facing the direction in the body was found, in which the body was found. He opens the window in that direction and flips a coin towards the floor. He then, wait, the he, I think it's supposed to say then he, then he goes to the second floor and repeats the process. He keeps doing it till the last floor. Then he climbs. He goes to the second floor and repeats the process. He keeps on doing until he hits the last floor. Then he climbs down. He tells the team that it is a murder, not a suicide. How did he come to know that this was a murder? Okay. So let me read that one more time because that was a big one. This is number three. A dead body is found at the bottom of a multi-story building. Seeing the position of the body, it is evident that the person jumped off from one of the floor for attempting suicide. From off from one of the floor. Okay, yeah, that didn't really make sense, but we're, we're not going <laughs> to critique them right now. Okay, so he basically he jumped off and they thought it was suicide. A homicide detective is called to look after the case. He goes to the first floor and walks into the room facing the direction in which the body was found. He opens the window in that direction and flips the coin towards the floor. Then he goes to the second floor and repeats the process. He keeps doing it until the very last floor. Then he climbs da -dum -dum -dum, down. He tells the team that it was, it is a murder, not a suicide. How did he come to know that it was a murder? Okay, so those are your three. You have, you have murder, murder. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> murder, crime, riddle is number three, cassette tape is number two, and dinner time is number one. And the answer for yesterday's iced tea was it was in the ice. Um, the girl that drank five of them kept having her cup refreshed, so her ice never melted. The girl that only had one of them, her ice obviously melted completely, um, and she drank all of it. So that's why um, the girl that only had one died and not the girl that had five. So I love you guys. I love you, babes. Let me see your comments. Put your thinking caps on and let's get to it. Have a blessed day. Love y'all.